Hello everyone, welcome to AJ Programming Solutions. So in last video, we have created this REST, REST endpoints, right? To get the details of the student, to get the details of the student based on ID, then to delete the student, to create the student and to, create, uh, to update the student, right? So all of these REST points we have created in our Spring Boot project and here we have used the Spring Data JPA also, right? So now in today's video, what we want to do, we want to understand what is a response entity, right? For example, if we just go to the postman, okay, see here, whenever I hit this request, let's suppose to get the student whose ID is 1, what will happen? I will get the student whose ID is 1, right? And here I am getting the status as 200. Same way, if I just hit this post URI, the 8080 student add, and if I pass here the student object, let me change the name here, maybe Ravina, the percentage will be 99, and let the branch as a IT. Now, if I just hit this request, see here, I am getting the status code as a 201 created, but in the response body, I am not getting anything. And this 201 created status is coming because of this annotation at the rate response status. If I remove this annotation, save the project, let it reload, once the project is reloaded let's just go to the postman and now let me change the name to puja 77 let's just hit see here now what i am doing i am just creating a new student whose name is puja and whenever i create the student i am getting here the status as a 200 okay and in the response body i am not getting anything Right, so now I want the status code should be 201 which means created and here I want to see a message that student inserted successfully. So how we can do that? Let's just go to the STS. In the post mapping what we have to do instead of returning the void we will return the response entity. Response entity of type string right and here i will just write return response entity dot status let me just write here a status http status dot created right so i have set here the status as a created and in the body what i want to pass i want to pass the message that student is inserted successfully so this is the message i want to show in the body right now see if just i save this whenever now whenever i try to create a new student that time i will get the status as a created and then this message in my response body let's just go to the postman and see Let's suppose here the name will be Neha, the percentage 90. Okay, send. See here, as soon as I create new student, then I am getting the status as a 201. And here I can see the message student is inserted successfully. So how we are achieving this? We are achieving this through response entity. Right? So this way, to manage the status or the response body, you can use the response entity, right? Even to set the status, you can use uh, the at the rate response entity annotation also, uh, not a response entity, at the rate response status, okay? At the rate response status annotation also, you can use this way as we done in last session http status dot created you can use this annotation also and another way is this way by using response entity now let's suppose let me just remove this annotation 
now let's suppose whenever you are creating new record record you are getting student is inserted successfully message but instead of this what i want whenever i create the student I want to see the newly created student details in my response body. So for that what changes we need to do? We just have to go to the post mapping and here in the body you are writing string message. Right? So instead of writing this, to, uh, this string message you have to write the student object which is this object this object is created newly right so let me just write here the student object and one more thing you have to do you have to change the type of response entity it will be of type student now when we save these changes and go to the postman try to create a new record with the name pqr and percentage as 56 branch as a co see here you will get the status as a 201 and you will get newly created object details right so now we have created pqr so we are getting details of that object right so this way you can use the response entity now if you want to try one more thing then what we can do here in the delete mapping let's just go to the postman first and try to delete one record let's suppose uh, let's just see how many things we have so i have the student whose roll number is 1 3 8 okay then 9 and 10 11 so let's just delete the record whose id or the roll number is 1 now if i hit this see here i am getting 200 okay but when we delete the record that time we should get here no content which means 204 right for that what we can do let us just go here instead of writing void let me just write, he write here um, what we can write we can do the same way which is response entity or you don't want to use the response entity then directly use at the rate response status and here you can write code and you can write http status dot no content now what will happen for the delete mapping whenever you try to delete the record you will get the status as a no content let's just go to the postman and try to delete the record whose id is 10 see here in the status you are getting 204 right so this way whenever you want to play with the status that time you can use response entity this way or you can use at the rate response status okay i hope this is clear to everyone in case of any questions you just mention that in the comment section if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you